Gibraltar has great prices on a huge variety of makeup products. Come down and check out the deals this weekend. 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 Hello, my name is Adriana and I'm a makeup artist. I do beauty makeup as well as special effects makeuping on the side. All right, we are here with our model today, Adriana. Um, today we'll be going through three different makeup looks, a daytime look, an evening look, and then a nighttime clubbing look. So for today's natural makeup, we're going to make it look like you are not wearing makeup while actually wearing makeup. The evening makeup, we're going to show you how to bring out your cheekbones as well as accentuate the eyes. For the, the nightclub makeup, we're going to show you how to pop out the eyes and add a little bit more color as well as contouring on the cheeks. Alright, and if you are busy, I will show you how to use the foundation from each beginning makeup to build on to perform the second stage of our makeup today to go out through the day. When applying a foundation base, you can either use um, sponges, use a, a sponge to apply it, you can use your fingers, or if you'd like, uh, you can have a foundation brush that will help apply that as well. And all of our makeup is being provided by Gibraltar Trade Center. Alright, so for the daytime makeup, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with a base. And we want to make sure that our face is very clean, that way the makeup has something to hold on to with your skin. You can have a moisturizer on if you would like, but just a, a clean wash face to begin with is fine. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is find the appropriate foundation that matches your skin tone. You don't want to go too light and you do not want to go too dark. You want to find the one that looks perfect for your skin tone because the point is to make flawless skin, not covered up skin. Uh, once you've found the correct base and what you feel comfortable working with that makes your skin look absolutely flawless, you can go ahead and just put on enough to cover the surface. You don't want to make things too blotchy, just enough to cover the face completely and evenly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply three different shades. I'm going to apply one that is a little bit darker than her skin tone, one that somewhat matches her skin tone that I believe will work best, and then one that's a little bit lighter just as a demonstration to show you what should work for you. And the one that disappears whenever you apply it, the darker one's going to be a bit too darker on her complexion and the lighter one's going to be too light. And the one in the middle is going to kind of disappear a little bit and look a little bit close to her skin tone and that's the one that we want to go with because we want to make it look like we have flawless skin rather than covered up skin. So once you have your face all washed and clean you're going to go ahead and test the foundation if you don't already have one that matches your skin tone. We'll go ahead and we're going to apply one here that's very dark and we can see that that doesn't really match her skin tone at all. Apply one that is a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to apply a really, really light one here, just as a demonstration. Alright. Okay, so now you can see that this one here is a bit too dark and this one here is a bit too light. And this one here in the center best matches her skin tone that um, will make everything look more of a flawless skin rather than a covered up kind of look. 